welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am said Psychic Medium Tony Green, and here we go with the show. Just a few announcements before we get started. I'm going to try to make them as quick and painless as possible, if possible. If you'd like to call into the show, this is for everybody new, everybody returning. If you would like to call into the show, the number is 845-277-9131. You can call in if you would like to ask a question or connect with a loved one up above. Push one on your little keypad thing. It'll raise your hand and let me know that you have a question or a connection you would like me to handle with you. Numero uno, if you are joining us live on the YouTube, <laughs> you can ask questions there. I'm happy to answer them. I've been answering them for like 20 minutes now. People popping into YouTube, asking questions prior to the show starting. And I'm in YouTube and the call log, but I think so I've done most of the questions that have come through on YouTube. Um, okay, uh, next, I will never reach out to you. I will never reach out to anybody and ask them or tell them they need a reading. They need to cash. I don't have any cash app or Venmo. I'm not that girl. I don't want to be that girl. Nah. Mm -mm. Eh -eh. Nope. Okay. Um, and there's nothing wrong with Cash App or Venmo. I just, I have so much trouble. <laughs> this is going to sound like I have a lot of money and I don't, but I have so much trouble keeping track of the money I have and where it's coming in now. <laughs> and I don't even have, like, don't be fooled into thinking that statement makes it sound like, oh, it's just coming in all day. It's, it's, that's not the case. I just, I have so much going on. I don't want to have to watch more sources. So please, oh, I'm going to let that just be there. Okay, next. Um, next. Okay. Um, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at, uh, Monday at noon central, Wednesday at 7 p.m., I try to do a little bit of something for everybody. Please do remember this show airs on actual TV on several television stations, almost every podcast, live streaming, and radio stations. So although you guys get to call in and listen in, there are a lot of people listening and or watching that don't get to enjoy the live version. So I try to do things to help them you know, be included in the show. So I will say names of loved ones or your name from a loved one up above. And the first name I'm getting, oh my gosh, I'm getting the name Olivia, but we're not even on names yet. So don't worry. Um, or I may do songs or I may do a statement or name places. One of the places I've been hearing so strong since, uh, Oh, prior to that, I knew I should have written it down. It's that big music festival. Like, is it Burning Man? Was that what I was hearing? I don't know. Some big music festival. Um, okay. And then um, the next, okay, so I'll do names. I'll do songs and or statements. If I see people, I will tell you that I see them. Sometimes it's children. That's a little hard on me, especially if the children are really you know, little beans, that really gets me, but I'll do it anyway, because I love y'all so much. I'm willing to do that for you. And I will also do um, whatever comes through. When you call in, and I just want to remind everybody, there is, there was a lunar, a solar eclipse yeah, on the 14th. There is a lunar full moon eclipse Saturday. So please, let's all be patient and kind with each other, but let's be uh, smart. I don't, I don't know what the right word is. I don't, I don't know. But listen, when you call in, and I say your area code, please have a clear connection. 
And you might ask, what does this have to do with the lunar? Because even I only have so much patience <laughs> and I'm embarrassed sometimes if I might not have as much patience as other people think I should have. So when you call in and I'm taking, I say your area code, please have a clear connection, have your phone to your face for the five minutes that we're on or however long we are on. Um, I have an exact question ready. One exact question. You get one exact question. If you have a lot of questions or you want to ask the same question over and over again, book a session with me. Um, second, if you want to connect with a loved one, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. And if you have a question for them, please ask that right away with their name and relationship to you. Um, don't wait till I've given you a message and then go, but what I really wanted to do was ask them this. Nope, I'm going to cut you off. I have to. Full, full nod. People on YouTube. And I, and if you have that question, please ask it from the get-go right at the jump. Like, you know, Judy, my mom, is she okay? Judy, my mom, is there anything I'm supposed to be doing in my life? Mom, I'm not literally talking to you. Stop right now. <laughs> Judy is my mom. So like she was like, yes, <laughs> get, get up and get out your house, girl. That's literally what she would say to me right now. <laughs> Other than the gym is what she would add to me. It's actually what she did say to me. <laughs> oh, my mom's got jokes all day, doesn't she, folks? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And if you are asking a question online, if I get to you and you are no longer on YouTube, I'm, I'm not going to answer the question for everybody else who is still here. I'm going to go to the next question. Um, if you do not chat back on me when I ask you a question about your question, because you're gone, I'm not answering your question. Okay, we're going to go straight into names. Now, this could be your name, their name, your loved one's name, your name, or with somebody in your a family's name. And today I'm going to try to do a little something different. And if something comes through with the name, I'm going to give that out. So Joshua is a name that is coming through. Olivia is coming through. Rodrigo is coming through. Missy and or Melissa could have been the name and the nickname. I'm hearing Gia. I'm also hearing the name Blanc Blanca. Blanca. I like when they give me a little accent when I say the name. It makes me feel like I'm a little exotic, even though I'm not even close to exotic. Okay, Blanca. Um, the next thing I'm hearing, I'm seeing a big white German shepherd, a huge white German shepherd, pure white, like snow, white, driven shepherd. German Shepherd, not Driven Shepherd, <laughs> German Shepherd. Okay. Oh, the, and now that I opened it up to the animals, the animals, are, I see a beagle. Oh my gosh. The dogs are like, who let the dogs out? Oh my God. There's a beagle. There's a chihuahua. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Do you guys want to know the dogs that are here right now? There's a pure white cat here and a black one there. A calico. Oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, I'm going back to names. Um, oh my lord. Oh, okay. Back to the names. Um, the name, and that then I'm also hearing the name Emilio, or yeah, Emilio. It could be Amelia, but I believe it's Emilio. And then I'm hearing the name Santiago. Boy, there's a lot of. There's a lot of, here today, a lot of fancy names. Um, then I'm hearing the name Gra Graziella. Graziella. I don't, sometimes it surprises me I can say these names for real, for real, because I'm not that linguistic. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Robert. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> On behalf of my mouth, thank you. Um, the next name that I'm hearing is, 
One second, it's coming. It starts with a J. There you go. I'm going to take two more names, you guys. The next name I'm hearing is Walanda or Wanda. Walanda or Wanda. Okay. And then the next name I'm hearing is Je Jeffrey. Okay. Whew. Now I'm going to do songs today. Last time I did like some messages that came through Joshua Tree. That's what I was hearing. Not Burning Man, Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. That was what I was hearing all before the show. Like I was trying to put on makeup and curl my hair and I kept hearing Joshua Tree. So if Joshua Tree means something to you and to somebody over there or just to you and it's from somebody over there, Joshua Tree. Okay, the next thing that I'm, I'm going to give a few messages and I'm going to mix it up with songs. And the first song is Oh God, not that song again. Okay, if you know, you know, I'm not, I'm not singing the verse again. I'm just not, not, not singing that verse again. Okay, uh, the, <laughs> the next verse is and the verses, the words, or the statements can be something somebody would say to you or something they love. Like right now I'm hearing avocado toast. That's pretty recent. I'm also hearing, okay, these, I, I normally, this is going to be a little bit difficult for me. And I'm going to put on my big girl pantaloons for it, for you guys. Um, these are little kids. Ugh. These are little kids' names coming through that um, little, little kids that didn't make it very far. Okay, so I'm just going to get through these very quickly because they're sitting here and they're like, just say it, just say it. So I'm going to say it. There's a Brian or a Brianna, a Kyle, Kodiak, a Coda. <sighs> Makisha. Um, there is a Michelle. Vance with a V, Vance. And then there is a uh it starts with a TR. And I it could be Travis, but I'm not gonna go 100 on Travis but it could be a Travis, but it's for sure starts with a TR. And I'm going to just stop there because it's really, mm, yeah, I'm going to let that be that. Okay. So for those of you, and if I didn't say your little beans name today, I apologize. Maybe next week I'll be able to bring more through, but that's really tough for me. That's really tough for me. Um, <clears throat> and then the it's either the word or the name coriander or coriander whatever that is okay statement um turkey on rye <laughs> get, get some salami i don't know if these statements i would rather do songs you guys i would really rather do songs than talk about your lunch menus um Okay. Th okay. Let's just get into callers now. I think I've done, I think I've done enough of that. Let's get into callers. I'm going to start with the callers um, in the call log. If you would like to call in or again, if you would like to join us live, it's every Monday at noon central, every Wednesday at 7 PM. I go for 60 minutes because that is the time frame of my show slot, my show slot. Yeah. And so uh, for 60 minutes, I will do as much as I can for everybody listening and or watching. And uh, after that, you know, we wait for the next show. Sometimes I do a pop up show on the weekend. Um, so, yes, 
So um, thank you everybody for being here. I'm going to go to the next, the first caller who is 630630. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. This is Dion, and I'm in North Carolina. Hey, Dion. How can I help you today, love? Okay, so, um, so I did connect with some of the names that you had um, talked about. And so um, my, my friend, Aaron, ha uh, had passed away, and one person connected to his uh, murder has been arrested and um i just wanted to find out if <laughs> the other ones are gonna be held in custody soon just it's been hard for me to keep track because these people are all over the place okay so your friend aaron was um had passed away due to murder and then you want to know so far, one person has been arrested, and you want to know if the others are going to get arrested or be ca caught and put into custody. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you, because it's a little bit quiet, and I want to make sure everybody listening can, can know the question clearly. So I repeated it for that reason. Plus, I also, while I was repeating it, was absorbing things. Um, they're going to arrest one more person. It will be a wrong person. It won't be somebody who, who had something to do. How do what, what's that word? They didn't, they knew about it, but they, they weren't involved. They weren't involved. So they're hoping if they arrest this other person or take this person in for questioning that this other person will give up some more information because the person they have in custody, they, they, they're, like, they're not saying anything about anything. Uh, they're not speaking out because they're the, the way I'm hearing it is they're the low hanging fruit. They know if any, it, it, it's not like they're the top guy that, that will, if they say something, the other people have, will, they'll get hurt. Okay. That's why. Um. But what I do know, they're going to try to bring in somebody else and threaten them to give up more names. But the problem is the person they're bringing in does not know. Like they may have heard things about this, but they don't know, no, they don't know, no about it. So what I'm going to tell you in this is they were like, they're, they are in different states now also. I think there is a total of four people involved with this. And the way I see it is if I, I know you can't see me and I'm sorry, if this is the center, one went left, one went right, and one went to the side. And then the other one there, they're holding on to. Um, will they ever be arrested? Two of them, total of two or two more? Two more will eventually get arrested, but not in the near future. And they're going to get arrested on other charges. And one of them is going to be trafficking. One of them is going to be arrested for trafficking. And that person will try to give up people to get less uh, trafficking charges. Now, what I don't know what kind of trafficking this is. I don't want to know what kind of trafficking this is. But when this person gets arrested for this, they're going to be trying to put everything on the table beneath them, nobody above, like they don't want to turn in their bosses or anything. They're going to try to put everything on the table for a better deal like of people they're not afraid of. Let me put it that way. Um, one of the people who did this, they're going to end up, you know, pew, on the other side, um, probably within, I'm not going to give a time frame, but they're not going to live to see a court date is just what I'm hearing because they're in that life. That's just the life they live. You know, that's just, it is what it is. But the other two will eventually be brought in. When the one for trafficking gets arrested, then they'll turn on the other one and bring them in. And the other guy, the other person will already be gone. 
And I hope that answer helps you. And that's the, that's the, that's, I, I hope that gives you the answer that you're looking for. Does that give you the answer that you're looking for? And then some. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with me tonight. Absolutely. My pleasure. You can call back anytime. I'm happy to answer questions for you again in the future. Thank you so much again for calling in. And I'm I'm really grateful I could bring you some peace in this situation. And Aaron says, it was a long ride. It was a crazy ride. And Aaron would do it all over again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome, my friend. You are welcome. <clears throat> okay, I am going to go to 361. If you have a question on YouTube, please pop it in the question. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Genevieve, Heather, Fawn. Um, 361, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Linda and I'm calling from Texas. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hi. Well, I am struggling with a very swollen, painful right leg. And tomorrow I am going in for a biopsy of a few of the lymph nodes in my pelvic area. And I'm wondering if this is going to be the answer to the pain and the swelling in my leg, or is there something more? I'm going to... I'm going to bust myself out with some stuff here. I don't like to talk about myself on my show or what's going on with me on my show, but about a year ago, almost a year ago, I was in a car accident, which I have brought up on the show. And um, during the car accident, my pelvis bone was tilted. And at times when I do certain things, um, that it, I'm getting to your answer. I am getting to your answer. When I do certain things, it, it it will maybe push my pelvis more or whatever. And it will, yes, cause a tremendous amount of swelling and um, swelling and pain in my ankle. So it could be, yes, that absolutely 100% could be. Now, what I'm going to say for you as soon as they take care of this a month after you are going to feel amazing again, I recommend that you also get lymph massages along with your regular doctor's care. Um, but that could help you a great deal in the meantime, in between time. Um, sometimes when we do things like that, it can get a little worse before it gets better, but go, definitely go to a professional, somebody who knows what they're doing and has done it for a bit of time so that you can get the appropriate type of treatment with that. Okay, love. And you're going to be amazed when you do that, mm -hmm. how the difference, the difference that you feel and how, um, so, uh, how that how that um how that relates you're gonna see how it relates so i'm gonna go with as soon as one is fixed the other being the ankle will also um be fixed with it okay good to hear thank you so very much Absolutely. Our pleasure. When I say our, I mean angels and the big one upstairs. We're happy to help you however we can. Thank you so much for calling in. Uh, please feel free to call back at Thank any time you. and ask questions or connect with loved ones. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Wonderful to connect with you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So um, prior to the show, Heather, um, made a comment on here and for heather everybody listening everybody re-listening we're going to do a clearing for trauma and we're going to do and, and now for some people trauma was prenatal pre-birth um some people it was you know up until the it, it could have happened at any age so I'm I'm just going to do a blanket, and this is at the 24-minute mark of the show, and I want you to come back, and when you can, 
listen to this and allow it to help you. We're going to go um, all trauma, all that caused it, all that's kept it has been healed, cleared, released. I'm getting a no. We're going to heal, clear, release that. And then I'm getting, um, oh, Lordy. Whew, there's something stopping. It. Nope, it's good. Okay, so come back and listen to this like at least once a week, but every other day would be good when you can handle it. That would be amazing for anybody who has had any sort of trauma in their life. And that would be every single freaking one of us we've had trauma okay amy may so my brother's birthday robert was on the 9th oh happy birthday robert um does he have any message for me he's been heavy on my mind did i say robert at the beginning of the show you all uh oh and heather says thank you i just started crying let it out don't stop let it all go let this have the have the reaction have the have the release not reaction release okay um and i'm going to tell you for the last caller also trauma sits in our body and causes is like issues it will sit in our body if it's if it's ready for it to be addressed and released it will like poke us from the inside out literally <laughs> so if you're feeling this what you might feel is crying what you might feel is um anger what you you could feel and if you do don't worry it's it's going to release that's part of this it's going to just like that some people release um tears they were never able to cry at the time of the trauma because you know it's funny what our parents did the best they could and our caretakers did the best they could with what they had. But some of us were taught like if we were reprimanded or punished, don't cry. And whatever it is, I don't want to go into that whole big tangent, but allow yourself to release in whatever way you are releasing. OK, I'm going to go to the very next. Um, wait, I'm sorry, Amy, Amy May. I'm so sorry. Um, your mom and your brother, it's your mom and your brother, <laughs> they're right here and they want you to know um, it's been far too long. It's been, uh, it's been far too long and they know that you think about them daily. They know that you talk to them all the time. They're always um, with you, especially at work. Um, and they want you to know, um, they're singing a song for you. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Now, this song may have been significant to your mom and or your brother. And, um, the song is, it should be significant. Okay. Um, in some way you should know this song. And the other thing that they want to say to you, the, 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 I'm, I'm just going to say it how they're saying it. The most important thing for you to know right now is just live your life. Just get out there and do things that bring joy to you and your heart and your mind. Um, just get out and live. That doesn't mean you have to like, just do what makes you happy is like their biggest message for you, Amy. Um, and don't wait on things to come around. Go and get the things you want in your life. When you're ready, I'm going to add, I'm adding when you're ready. They're not saying that that was me, girly girl. Um, they want you to know to just make the move whatever that means for you, okay? Not, that's not necessarily a ge geographic move. That's just like in life in general, just make your move, just shoot your shot, do your thing. <laughs> shoot your shot, do your thing, <laughs> make your move. <laughs> I feel like I should be on 
<laughs> like, oh, never mind. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to go to the next caller right now. Uh, I I hope that was helpful, Amy. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 805. 805, what's your name and where are you calling from? Tony, hi. This is Dawn in California. How are you? I'm good. I have you in a while. Yeah. How are <laughs> you? What's going on, love? Yeah, I just got back from a... Uh, oh, hold on. I just got back from a wedding in uh, Idaho, Boise. It was real nice there. Oh. I, I, awesome. Love, what's, um, how can I help you today, beautiful? I wanted to know if you could connect with my mother. She's on the other side. We were very close. Her name is Anne. And I wanted to ask if I was going to meet my soulmate, my partner for the rest of my life soon. Okay. What's stopping this? Okay. Well, that's a fair answer, but be more specific. Um, here's, here's what I'm getting um, for what it's okay. worth. Uh, you're so independent and so used to doing things on your own. You need a man that's very verbose and outgoing and a little bit strong. And right. And but but you keep gravitating towards these. Um, I don't even know if you're gravitating towards men right now, but what you really need, what what's really, uh, um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna say you need like a you need like a cowboy, sweetie. They keep showing me somebody like doing the rope and the lasso and you know getting the the long the thing with the horns on it not the devil but the other thing with four legs and the horn what is that what is that that is like the um not the female cow but the male is that an ah <laughs> jesus i don't know like i i you know when they like they do the roping of the thing anyway you need a man with some testosterone oh. and some some who's a little bit strong still for you um, because you can tend yeah. to be a little bit strong and most men don't, uh, uh, but some men, well, what I'm just going to say, the right guy is going to be a very strong, like cowboy or East coast type of high energy, strong, whatever guy, that type of guy, not specifically from that. Uh, because when a man comes toward you, the first thing you do is start taking charge. You start taking control of the situation and you start talking to them and you start eliminating them before they've said, like, can you come to dinner with me? This is, I'm channeling this. So please don't, don't be upset no, with sorry. me. And then, so what they're saying for you right now is that you have to be in a situation where this guy is very strong and like he kind of can take control and you can be okay letting him be in control because, you know, he's not going to walk on you. He's going to walk with you. And you have to be aware of the fact that there is a man like that out there. And again, I feel like this guy is a very, very strong man. Um, he still, he see, he carries himself in a very strong way. Okay. That's the way I'm going to say that for you. Okay, love. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, that was helpful. I hope so. And I feel like if, if where are you going to travel to next love? Um, I'm leaving November 12th for Cabo San Lucas, Mexico for four days. Mm, I don't feel, if you meet somebody there, they're not going to be from there. I feel like this is either going, right. again, this is either going to be an East Coast connection or a Texas, that sort of energy, not literally that geographical location, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Sweetie, have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much for calling in. And I hope that was helpful for you.
Very helpful, and, Tony. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And also just really quick, and I need to tell you, stop discounting men before you give them their shot to finish a paragraph, okay? Will do. <laughs> okay. Like, and I'm going to say this, I know red flags can come out, but I don't feel like that many red flags can come out before you've even gone to dinner that you're like completely discounting yet. Okay. I'm going to go to grandma Kitty's Halloween um, stories donated on your website. Thank you so much, grandma Kitty. That was so kind of you. Um, can you tell me if my deceased husband can give me more details on his life death. His name is Jack. Thank you. Okay, Grandma Kitty, I'm going to ask you two questions. How long ago did Jack pass? And um, I wish you were on the phone right now. If you can call in, let me know that you are um, a year now. Can you call in, Grandma Kitty? Or if you're not comfortable... You're on the phone. What's your area code, love? Give me your area code and I'll skip to you. Um, 602. Let me find you. Let me find you. Let me, let me, let me, let me find you. There you are. Oh, you didn't even put your hand up, sugar bums. I'm going to I'm gonna put you on right now, Grandma Kitty. 602, Grandma Kitty. Grandma Kitty. Hello. Hey there. How are Thank you? you? Thank you. Can you hear me, Tony? I can. I'm I good. Can. Thank you so much for taking my call. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, okay, you want to know a little bit. I want to make sure I completely understand your question okay. about your Jack and his sure. passing. Would you like me? Go ahead, love. Would you like me to explain a little teeny bit? Okay. Teeny bit. So, um, my husband and I, we were, we were married, but we were apart for about seven years. He died November 7th of um, possibly a drug overdose. Okay. But the rumor is he was killed. Okay. So I don't know. I'm going to tell you this. Um, I'm sorry it was an estranged marriage. And the first thing I heard was heart. So I feel like yes. it could have been drug related due to heart. Like, if he took something, yeah. he was doing, you know, the drugs and uh -huh. it like it for a bit yeah. of time and it, his heart was um, very compromised. But I also and I am seeing, OK, you guys, it's OK if you laugh at me and think I'm not a brilliant person because I'm OK not being brilliant. <laughs> if I were brilliant, I wouldn't be uh -huh. sitting here in front of you. I'd be like an astrophysicist instead. OK raking in the dough, raking it in, just raking in the dough. Instead, I prefer to channel God right here, not being brilliant. Okay. What I'm seeing and what you're going to, whatever you get from this, uh, however I explain this, I'm probably going to use wrong terminology and that's okay. I see the top part of his heart the being very white and very swollen and very like it's not uh -huh. supposed to be white <clears throat> and it's it looks i know that everybody would say the heart's on the left but this if you take the whole heart in uh -huh. the center of the the wherever it is right here this right here however if it's the part in the back or whatever it is this or if it's over here whatever it is i see it being very swollen and very white and i feel like whatever happened here now i am going to take say to you a lot of the stuff people are getting now can cause like cardiac like um hot shots and stuff like that so whatever it is whatever yeah. this was it definitely um caused the heart it wasn't a valve it wasn't a ventricle it was the actual heart itself that was very swollen up and very um like almost i don't know if you would say it burst or whatever it did but it was that it was uh -huh. that that part of it okay, okay sweetie i hope i i hope that helps you to understand but i am going to tell you he was in a very bad way he was very disheveled for about a week before his passing 
he was very unkept, um, very unkept. He shows to me, he presents to me very like unkept, very, um, whether it was because he was just in such bad health or because of whatever else was going on, he looks very downtrodden okay. and unkept. And like, if we saw him on the street, we might for our safety cross to the other side thinking, whoo, what's going on there? Um, uh -huh. He just did yeah. not look yeah. good. He looked like his eyes were really closed, but he would look up at you and like, there's so much I could say about the way he looks right now as I push him. Oh, even reaching into uh, his energy is very tingly and icky. Um, as I uh, push it, uh -huh, like push it off uh -huh. of me. I'm just yeah. gonna say whatever was going on with him all the way around. Um, how did they make that statement? They came home to roost, like his whatever came home. It, uh, what is that statement? It came home to uh, roost or it came home to the yeah. yeah, chickens come home to roost. Yes, his chickens came yeah. home to roost, whatever that means for him. Yes, they did. And and he yeah. like owed he owed a lot of people a lot of stuff. And I feel like uh. if it wasn't this, it would have been something else. And he has left. Yeah left the building, which I'm really happy for. So sweetie, I hope this helps to bring you just a little bit of closure. I hope this helps to bring you a yeah. little bit of relief and understanding. And the best thing you do, never feel guilty about the choices or the way this went down. It went down exactly the way it was supposed to. And I want to tell you uh -huh. that whatever this, it was a blessing for you to be separated and to not be in this energy and be responsible for his choices when he went, when, when he was off on his own way. Okay, love. 100%. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you very, very much. You're 100% on. Oh my gosh. And before you go for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, watching, we're going to clear the grief because we are all losing people. And I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't matter how somebody treated us. It doesn't matter how somebody behaved. We still mourn the loss of them because we always had that hope it yeah. would come back around. So we're going to clear heal, release all the grief, sorrow, sadness from this. And uh, is there some okay, good. Thank you. Uh, all that cars and kept this. Okay, we're gonna let all that go, sweetie. And I hope that you find some peace this evening. Take a nice warm bath if you're comfortable with baths, and just let it all okay. purge. Okay, love. Thank you so much. Bless you, Tony. Thank you so mm. much. I love you so much. Bless you too. Um, and and please thank you. Keep listening, and hopefully, you. gonna do a few more clearings and uh. Yes, thank you so much again for the donation. And thank you so much again for calling in and being on the line with me tonight. Okay, everybody. Um, and I do want to let everybody know, um, I said this in one of my shows. I haven't said it in every show uh, because I just feel like nobody wants to listen to a, a ton of announcements. If somebody does donate, they move straight up to the top of the list. So I can get them in before that hour is up. You can donate in the link below. On all my bios, there's a donate spot. And on my website, there's a donate spot. I don't check how much you donated. But if somebody goes through the time to support the channel like that, I'm I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pop them up. I'm going to move them up the list and let them be, get that, that answer for sure. So thank you so much, Grandma Kitty. I really appreciate that on so many different levels. Okay, I feel like that was kind of both an online and an on the phone. So I'm going to go next to 814. 814, uh, did I already take you 814? No, you haven't. Okay, how can I help you, love? I am calling to see if... If... My old place of work is going to come back. If there's going to be any repercussions, that they'll come back. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. You know what? Um, no. Okay. I'm going to go to Terry. Terry wants to know, Miss Tony, I found out someone's bad mouthing me and spreading rumors behind my back. Should I ignore it? Absolutely. 
um, would this affect me? Ignore it. 100% ignore it. Um, and number two, will it affect you badly? Only to those that will listen. Only to those that will listen. Um, uh, you know, okay, let's do this. Uh, we have healthy relationships at work with our family, with our friends. I get a no, let's clear that. Um, there we go. Now, I'm just, for those of you who are listening, who think I might like, holy, holy fudge balls, Batman. She just cut that collar off. That collar called in Monday and asked me that exact same question three times to the point. And I answered it twice and did a clearing on it. And, um, the third time I was like, <laughs> it's like, tell, I just, yeah, no. We're just going to let that lie and we are going to just keep it pushing to the next person who understands the answer to a question when it's given to them. And if that sounds mean, then I'm a bully. Then I'm a bully. Okay, I answered an online question. I'm going to go to 480. 480, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Shiloh. I'm, I'm calling from Phoenix. I really like your name. Arizona. What's your name? What's your name? Say it again for me. Shiloh. Shiloh. I really like your name. I want to make a song out Thank of it. Thank you. I know it's wrong because I don't oh, know Neil how to Diamond make... already beat you to it. <laughs> yeah, I just, <laughs> I don't know how to make songs, but I kind of want to be like, Shiloh, here we go. Okay, I need to stop, Shiloh. What's your question? <laughs> what do you want to know? <laughs> uh, my question is, there's somebody who's been in my life for about nine years, um, not a partner per se anymore. Um, but recently, and the, his initials are DR, or I'll just say his name is Dave. Um, he just recently came into a big gift, we'll call it. And I'm wondering, is he going to pros like prosper from this? Is there going to be a lesson that he's going to learn from this experience? Or is my whole idea of karma and right and wrong completely off? <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. It does. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to put this uh, uh, fairly quickly. Um, okay. What I'm going to say for you is sometimes people, their karma is getting the big gift. And then maybe all the people they um, used, abused, pooped on start no, wait, let me rephrase that because I think I'm saying it wrong. They get a big gift and then people like suck it up out of them as their karma to the people they used and abused or however that would be. Like I, I'm trying to explain it, but now my idea of karma is very different than I don't, I never wish bad karma on anybody because I've seen really bad karma come around to people and I would never ever wish anything negative to anybody. But who we are is what we hang around with. So if we're a user and abuser, chances are our friends are users and abusers. So they will use and abuse whatever gift we got, they got with this person and it will be gone before they know it. So for example, let's say it's an inheritance. Um, it will be gone before they know it, and then nothing productive would have come from it. Now, having said that, what I'm going to say is this person will be enlightened at the end of this specific, Dave here, will be enlightened at the end of this specific journey. Certain things are going to happen that will open the eyes of this person to help them understand not only their own behavior, but the behavior of the people that are in their life um, also. So I hope that makes sense to you. 
And I hope you understand the way that's, and that doesn't necessarily mean this person is going to get bad karma because sometimes someone will try to do somebody dirty and then that's how they see how they've been treating somebody else and it makes them open their eyes. Other times, you know, it, it can be a different situation for everything. But what I'm going to say to you, my beautiful uh, Shiloh, is you just let that be. You leave that lying where you found it and you move your beautiful little booty on because with or without a gift, this is the same person it's always been. Okay. So you You're just, right. you just, I hate to use this example when I'm talking about a person, but this is what they're showing me. So this is what I'm going to say. Sometimes you just have to drive by the dead skunk on the road and hope the stank doesn't get in your car. Uh -huh. And that's all I can say about that because that's okay. what they're showing me. And I hope that makes sense for you, beautiful. Okay, thank you very much. You are so, so welcome. And I, I really do hope that that made sense to you. A little bit, yeah. And I don't want to wish bad things either. And I shouldn't even care. I just, it just really had me questioning my whole, not like faith. I still believe in what I believe in. But sometimes it just made me struggle with with part of it. Okay, here's, a, don't hang up. I'm going to, I'm going to mute you, but don't hang up because this is what I'm going to say to you. Um, sometimes people who are whatever get gifted something just so they can lose it so they can learn because nothing will teach a person faster than losing something they loved because some people don't know how to love people but they know how to love things so if something comes into their life and they lose it, that's when they feel what they have put out to others. Okay, my gorgeous girl, I hope that really helps you. I And I know I never wish anything bad on somebody, but sometimes when somebody's done us a little dirty, we can't help but think, really? Come on now. But then we have to pull it back in because whatever we think for somebody else, we're putting ourselves in that energy and I don't want us to be there. Uh, la, 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 Joy, if you have time, I wanted to ask about romance. I'm open to attracting an amazing partner. Uh, okay, Joy, Joy, what's your age, love? Just pop your age in the comments for me. And if I miss somebody's question, I so apologize. Please don't be upset with me. Uh, Joy, when are you going to meet somebody? I hear instantly I hear December, but a lot of meeting somebody depends on us getting out, being out, interacting, making eye contact. Um, a lot of it does depend on that. So, Joy, the first thing I hear is December, and I see fifth, the, the number five, and then, Joy, the other thing I see is that this is out and about, literal outside, like not, um, not in a... Um, not in a, a a place like a a a shopping place like if you, let's just say if you're you're literally outside when you meet this person out of doors i'm sorry like i, I feel like i should have been able to get that out in 5 seconds and one sentence enjoy that's a december the fifth is going to be significant. I don't know if that's the date you're going to meet said partner. What I do know, though, is that you are going to meet said partner out of doors, out of an inside place. And I hope that that helps you, my love. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. I want to try to get a couple people in. This is 
hopefully I'll be able to. 929, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh. Hi, hey Tony, I was trying to send you a donation. I'm not sure if you received it. Oh, I won't know until later, but that's Sorry, okay. So about my... What's your name, love? Okay, it's Teresa, how are you? Teresa, I'm doing amazing and the clock is running down and I hate to rush you, but how can I help you, love? Okay, I might have to do a private reading with you to go more in depth, but I wanted to talk to you about the legal matter that I had. Um, because I was trying to figure out the I need help, so I might have to do a private reading with you. Anyway, I was trying to see if I should go with the I'm picking up the energy either around a male, I mean a female lawyer that might represent women. Or I'm not sure if it's a female or a male energy that I'm picking up, but I have to choose the best lawyer to rep to help, you know, represent my case. That's why I wanted to talk to you to go more in depth and tell you about the case. Okay, so the one, you know, give me give me just a quick second here. You should go with a female, and that's what I'm getting for now, love. Go with the female, and you're going to know because they're going to understand your situation. Okay, sweetie? I, I'm going to set up a reading. Don't. Okay. Um, you guys, I... I I take one question per caller and I really appreciate every single caller. And if I answer the question, especially when time is ticking down so tight and it is, I, I get so anxious when that 90 seconds comes on and I start freaking out and trying to say all the things. <laughs> and then it's like, ah! So if I, at the end of the show, seem to be a little bit rushy or trying to get through a question and trying to be as clear with it as possible, and I give you the answer and then I have to mute you, I apologize. Please don't think I'm whatever. Anyway, anyway. Okay, you guys, I love you so stinking much. I know you know this. I love you. Your angels love you. Your guides love you all your loved ones on the other side, no matter how they showed up when they were here. And this is so important for everyone to know. No matter how they showed up when they were here, whatever role they played in your life, whatever character they played in your life and whatever personality they had in your life when they were here, it's completely different when they're on the other side. Once they get to the other side, their job of teaching you the whatever it was they were teaching you is done. And now they're in this space where they are just loving on you and trying to help you see things in a way that is so clean and so clear and so like easy for you to navigate this, uh, this beautiful world that we're in. And it all comes back to self-love, self-worth, and um, just finding that space where you are at peace with yourself and with everybody else. The way we the, are the most at peace is 90. Like, oh, oh, picking ourselves first, <laughs> doing what makes us happy and joyous. And I know when we have children, that's not always so easy. And that's not what I'm talking about. But love yourself as much, if not more, than you love others. And know that you are loved so much by so many people shine so brightly that everybody can see you no matter where you are because you don't know who you're influencing in a positive way. When you do that. Oh, the stress, the anxiety. Shh. Shh. And then, <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to do a pop up show this weekend. I love you all so much.